What is going on Raiders? Soda Dragon here and today I'm ready to pull all these sacred shards that I have saved up. I would love Atlanticus or Duke Brogni for empowerment because I'm looking for champs that can improve my Infinity Clan boss team. Alright guys, 2x sacreds, can I get Atlanticus or Brogni? Let's see. Fang Cleric. This guy's probably a bit underrated, if I'm not mistaken. He's the only champ in this game that revives while putting an unkillable buff on your revived champion. So pretty unique, but not who I'm looking for. So can we get some gold today? I really hope. Crypt Witch. She has two attacks at random that place that decreased defense. So it's not even an AOE decreased defense. So she's actually not too great. Let's keep it going. Titus. I use this guy for my Go Second team combined with Cardinal. He has some of the highest damage multipliers in this game, period. Even throughout all the legendaries, his AoE is insane. That secret skill you can't unlock when his HP goes below 50%. So this guy is absolutely great, but I already got him and I maxed him out. So who's next? Jingo Hunter. I absolutely hate this guy. I'm still traumatized by all the times I fought him in the arena. Early on when I started a raid and he kept on freezing my team. Super annoying, but no, I will never six star this guy. That is a promise. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Smart gem cursed. I have to admit, I saw those stubby feet running up and I thought maybe it could be another Brogni. No, it is not. It was Samar Gem Curse. I already have him. And even though his damage multipliers did get buffed, I really don't see his use outside of anything like soloing Bommel. I mean, that's pretty much it. So uh, I already have him, so I don't really need to dupe of him, though it's cool to get a legendary. So 10 more left. Who else can we get? Umatogi. I'm really surprised no one has come up with anything interesting for her yet because she has a really interesting passive. Basically every few turns, depending on how you book it, she's gonna completely negate the damage of one attack and counter attack with her A1. But no one has really come up with anything cool yet, but I still think people will in the future. Let's keep it going. Rockbreaker. This guy's actually really good. He has an AOE provoke plus self counter attack on a three turn cooldown. And he has this really interesting passive where depending how you book him, 50% of the time, he can negate 50% of the damage of one attack. So he's actually a really cool champ. But I have him and he's already maxed out. So who's going to be next? Fergus. Here's one of the best solo champs for the Scarab King, though I already have one maxed out. So who's next? Claude Beast Feeder. So with regard to that Infinity-ish clan boss team that I showed you, this guy can actually replace Lydia according to ING. Now, of course, this guy is not going to be the best replacement for Lydia. Really, there is no absolute replacement that does everything that she does. But if you don't have her yet, yes, you can use Claude here in place of Lydia for that increased speed buff to get your teams that 2 to 1 ratio a little bit easier than trying to do a 2 to 1 ratio without a speed buff. Let's keep it going. Six more left. Excruciator. She actually has good damage multipliers, though her attacks are limited to single target only, so you're probably not going to find a ton of use for her, at least endgame. Let's keep it going. Ah, <laughs> Elegaeus. Oh, man. This guy's actually pretty good, but he's going to be like my third Elegaeus. But he can block cooldown skills, can increase cooldown skills, can remove buffs, he can decrease turn meter, and you can't one-shot him. He has this passive where he's just going to stay alive with one HP when you try to one-shot him. He can shield himself, and he's actually pretty good. But yeah, I don't think I need a third of this guy. So we got four more left. Who's next? Horafreeze the Tusk. This guy's actually a pretty good reviver, not just for skinwalkers, but in general. He revives, heals, increases turn meter, puts up that strength in. 
He can increase attack, increase crit rate, plus his A1 does have a stun on it. A small chance, but yeah, you can stun with that. So he's actually not too bad, but three more left. Blood Feather. Here's another example of a champ with good damage multipliers, but unfortunately all her attacks are single target. So on most people's accounts, she's not gonna see much use. Two more left. Who's gonna be next? Can we get one more? One more Lego. Lich. This guy is actually really good against the spider. So I have a video out that shows Lich and a team taking on Spider 2425. So definitely check that out. If you have a Lich and you're thinking of a use for him, no, you don't have to max him out. He has a decreased turn meter complete 100% plus a decreased speed on the same move. It's only single target, but that's all you need against the spider, really that main spider. So he's definitely really good against the spider. Don't uh, underestimate this guy. All right, guys, last one. Can we get a legendary? Varsalis Grave Dirt. This guy's an AoE heal reduction, plus he puts up shields and a strong version of strength and over your whole team. And he's also immune to fear. So I thought this guy would see a lot of usage against the Hydra, specifically against the Head of Torment. But I don't see him being used at all against the Spider. I don't think he's a bad champ, but I don't really see him being used anywhere. All right, guys, that is it. But at least I got all the fragments that I needed for the champ chase. Make sure to let me know in the comments if you pulled your sacred shards this weekend and who you got. And if you haven't yet, like, subscribe, and share. Turn on all notifications. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.